gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to welcome you here to St James' Church uh, in Piccadilly. My name is Lucy Winkett, I'm the rector here at St James's, and we gather in a church that has been here since 1684. We're particularly honoured to have with us this evening His Excellency Rami Mortada, who is the new ambassador of the Lebanese Republic to the UK. We're delighted to say is around the UK book release of our friend Paul Gordon Chandler's book about Khalil Gibran. Paul Gordon, the author, is an art curator, an interfaith advocate, an Episcopal priest, and authority on the Middle East and Christian-Muslim relations. Tonight, we gather underneath the installation that we've had in our church here since Christmas. If you look up, you'll see, suspended by Arabella Dorman. And it's made of hundreds of clothes, salvaged from the beaches and roadsides of Greece, Lesbos in Greece in fact. Every single piece of clothing here was discarded by a man, a woman or a child after a perilous journey across the sea to Europe. As a church here at St James's, we welcome refugees and people seeking asylum as part of our congregation and every week and we wanted to highlight this current crisis in this way. I'm so happy to, to be here and to co-host this event. I wish to thank you all for being so many uh, with us for this event dedicated for the celebration of Khalil Gibran. Tonight, as we celebrate the launching in the UK of Paul Chandler's book, we highlight through the book and through the person of Khalil Gibran an eternal quest and struggle which was born with humanity a quest to build consensus and to understand the other and to seek to build bridges rather than walls. Tonight, through this unconventional biography of Gibran offered to us, as Reverend Chandler says in the book, a man of our times. I want to thank all of you for being here to listen and hear a little bit about someone who I think is not only one of the most profound figures to have lived in the last century, but who I think is increasingly, exceedingly important for our time. And more than ever, I think there's a need to hear voices that call us to unity and to respect, to be inspired, to live deeply, and to look generously on the other, whomever the other is. And I believe Khalil Gibran is just that voice and he offers us profound insight, much needed wisdom and guidance for today. Ron is really the supreme East-West figure, and as a result can be an unparalleled, even spiritual guide for us, especially related to peace, to harmony, and certainly the building of bridges between the creeds and cultures of the Middle East and West. He said, you are my brother and sister, and I love you. I love you worshiping in your church, kneeling in your temple, and praying in your mosque. You and I are children of one religion. I close with the leading words of Khalil's good friend, Mikhail Naimi, who wrote the first biography on him just three years after his death. For some purpose unknown to you and to me, Gibran was born in Lebanon at the time that he was born. And for a reason hidden from you and me, Arabic was his mother tongue. It would seem that the all-seeing eye perceived our spiritual drought and sent us this rain-bearing cloud to drizzle some relief to our parching souls. Thank you. very moving to be here tonight, especially with Paul Gordon launching his book underneath my installation. I feel that he and I have a shared message and both a mutual respect of 
um, Koho Gibran, who has been a constant guide and companion.